What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some One Piece. Today we are doing episodes 125 through 128. We are getting even closer and closer to the end of the Alabasta arc. Luffy and Crocodile are having their thing. We got Robin, who I don't know what's going to happen with. I still am praying for her backstory fully. We have all that with the Navy when she was young with the uh, 79 million fairy bounty. Okay, and then we got the Cannoneer. <laughs> We have a lot of stuff going on right now, so I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm excited to finish this out. I hopefully should have a little bit of a big recording session today. So uh, hopefully you're finishing Alabast out. If you guys are excited, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Make sure you guys check out that Patreon for the full uncut, unedited versions, as well as early access up to one week or eight episodes ahead for One Piece. Um, let's hop right on into it. One Piece episode 125. Let's do it. Yeah, your jacket, buddy, says broke. Um, he's, yep. Yep, your hat, broke. Uh, Shigi does not care about playing these games with you. Mm -hmm. And that goes against everything the, you know, the law justice system says. So I'm glad she's doing her own justice out here. Even though your personal justice can always take you a little bit too far, but she's on the right side right now. Clock is open. Go to that cannon. Help us out. Tashigi's MVP right now. Let's go. Look how far we've come in this arc. Remember when Crocodile was the untouchable badass? When Luffy gets serious, he turns up so much and I love it. Oh, the Gatling. That barrage. I love it. Yeah, that poison's always a cheap shot, but it's always a bad thing. Bad news. Usopp's like, I'm the one who made this. I just made it for magic tricks at a party. That's the cyclone tempo, whatever. What the fuck? This is quite the play up the clock tower. <laughs> you just got to do it. Nami asked you to. <laughs> Zoro's like, okay, if that's the plan. Okay, off the leg. Launcher uppers. <laughs> They're so cool. <laughs> I feel so bad for Usa. Yup. I love this, like... Not cheery, it's not the right word. It is cheery, but like this triumphant music that plays, you know, when they're doing something, especially as a team like this. Heck yeah, the blunt side, come on. That's just, that's just not the way we work, sir. You've never, you clearly never met an anime main character. <laughs> exactly. Luffy's right, you really just don't get it. From Crocodile's perspective, that's the easiest thing to do, you know. Crocodile has no relationships like that. That's why he said he doesn't trust anyone. He doesn't, you know. But Luffy's the goat. That's the ultimatum right there. If we die, we die. Oh, I love that. No hesitation at all. So did one bullet hit the other bullet? What happened? Oh, did my boy Zoro get blickied? He already was dealing with enough. He always takes the worst injuries, I swear. Him and Luffy. Oh, I love this countdown. Like the, the red screens, the flashes. <laughs> right? Good dodge. Good dodge. Oh, uh, see, I love this. That timer, like, real time. I always love the sound that they use in the anime for her little ring sword things, the peacock strings. Oh, okay, with a direct hit, arm. Yeah, you guys can fall. Come on, cut the fuse with the peacock string. One second left until literally everybody is dead. 
everyone is anticipating. Is this going to happen? Is everyone going to die? This would truly be the end of Alabasta. At least this, you know, Alubarna, the capital, the palace. It cuts to a flashback. Are we saying this because my boy Pell is going to come out because he knows where the clock tower, their secret base is. I mean, that was a cool flashback. I always love seeing Shaka and Pell with young Vivi and how, you know, their relationship's grown over the years, but curious about that. Oh, it was cut. Peacock string. She had her just sliced it perfectly. You did, right? Yes. Good shit. Like, is it gonna happen? Are we gonna die? Oh my god, look at the way they fell. Yeah, what the hell happened? It looked like... So, even outside the fuse, that what that ticking was? What? That's just toxic. Like, what do we do against that? I mean, he's right. Should be carried out considering unforeseen circumstances. Yeah, that's quite the fucking timing explosive cannonball. That is scary looking. The fact that one man manipulated all this to happen is super fucked up. Like, just when we thought hope was here, they had the music, Vivi was doing everything. Like, they had the flashback. I mean, I get her frustration for sure. He thinks of his laughing too. The echo reverberating. Ugh. That scream of crocodile. Pell heard that. And so Pell's gonna. Yeah. Pell's gonna come over. Can Pell stop this somehow? I mean, that, that's a sign that, yeah, I mean, obviously you can't slap the princess. But that's a sign, you know, of how much he cares and, you know, it's like something, you know, father does somewhat. Yeah, I mean, she could have died. They only do that because they care. Hell even took her on rides. Yeah, that would be so crazy. I don't like this flashback. I mean, I really like this flashback, but they are giving some Pell sacrificial vibes with this. I love that shot, though. But how could he even do that? See, like he's saying that as if he's gonna sacrifice himself. Is he gonna like pull a Batman and fly the bomb as far as he can outside of five kilometer range? He is. Ugh. Oh, oh, I'm pissed. I mean, I did think Pell died before, but this one, especially after how much, oh, with the bird statue cracking, how much he's cool with VV, you know, how much Igaram and the rest of everyone, Chaka, fuck with him, you know. This hurts a lot more. I am Alabasta's guardian deity as it knocks over. It's so symbolic. Oh, that's such a cool shot. God damn it. God damn it. All right. On to episode 126, the next episode, man. I got to give an RIP to Pell.
God damn it. It sounds like sad, but Vivi's going to be so much of a better leader. Like she was already a great leader and a great person, but she's always going to remember Bell. His impact on her and her leadership is going to remain forever, you know, but I got to give a huge RIP. Only give those for the real ones. No, so, you're a real one, pal. Well, they're just going to get back up and go right back to fighting. I know, right? Like, that's not enough. Mark the start of a new age. Oh, my Lord. That's Vivi up top screaming down at them to stop fighting. Like, what needs more needs to happen? Pell just sacrificed himself for the sake of this country. And this, like, look at her. I don't know how much more she can go through. Oh, my God. I know. What needs to happen? We need to, like, I don't know. I literally have no idea how we can stop this. Fuck. Right. Stop the rebellion. Who <laughs> stops on a full body bandages? I don't know what we can do. That's what I was saying. But just do what you can, I guess. Uh, this, I'm very curious the outcome of this. How are we going to get Cobra out? How are we going to get Robin out? What, how, how are we going to deal with Crocodile? The, you think the explosion went how you, you think it went. Oh, my boy Luffy is out for the count. He still has some life left in his body. Some mobility. Functionality. Hmm. This man is still getting up. Not a clue how. But he's still doing it. Crocodile thinking the same thing. Not a clue how. Those are some brazen words, Luffy. And I love to hear you say them. Look at that shot. How bloody and battered he is. And he's still brazenly saying that unwaveringly. <laughs> I mean, we'll see. You might get handled by this rookie. That's I am definitely think we're low level, but Ooh. Okay, good slam down, break the hook. I am the man. All right, well, we won't think that big right now. Well, at least for now, I'm the man who surpassed you. Let's talk about that. Handle that. Talk about a punch. Okay, hammer fist. Talking about a series of punches. Man, Luffy's kind of going in right now. Right? Like, how is this man still moving? I'm, I'm wondering the same thing. Now, you thought he was such a pipsqueak and you were wondering how he's... How... Okay. He's got all sorts of hidden weapons in his sleeve. Literally in his sleeve. Ooh. My God, look, I love the way they animated that. How intense his face was right there. Hope was like, holy shit. Pesado. Oh my Lord, does that look sick. What is that, like a sand shockwave? It should look like an air bullet. He's <laughs> doing... Launching himself up with propelled compressed air. This is some of the best animation I've seen in One Piece so far. I'm not lying. Like, I love the heavy lines right there. Gum Gum Storm and La Spada. 
Oh, he snapped through it. And I've seen that thing cut rocks before, that spotta. Going right through the sand, right to your cranium, my boy. What was it called? Gum Gum Storm? Something like that? Look at this. You guys ever need a fucking piece of chicken tenderized? Call Luffy. <laughs> Look at this guy. This man, I would say caved in, but that's when it caves in. This man just caved out the cave, punched him through into the city with the music in the background going on. He smashed through bedrock, punching this man crocodile up through to the fucking city. Look at the way my man's falling. They're doing what they can to stop the fucking, the death, the rebellion, but look at this. Oh my God. It's so artistic right now with the music, with how like frozen in time we are, seeing the clock tower. Man's literally just flying through the sky. This is like a perfect song to play during all this right now. And that's what Luffy did. Like, I genuinely feel like I'm at like a fucking concert. Because whoever chose the song right now is beautiful. <laughs> Look at all the... <laughs> Look at all these faces. That's a face of like, we actually did it. This was the greatest odds we've had to go against. By far, by far, the craziest task they've had to complete. Saving a country. Going against one of the seven warlords of the sea. And they, and I mean, I'm not going to say it's over because we still have a few more episodes left, but it's, oh, we won. Yeah, we still do have a rebellion to stop. That's the island and the kingdom of Alabasta. That shot going from the entire island all the way down at Aluwarna. Is this Koza? The built up of sand, everything that's going on, it's raining for the first time in three years. It's like at the end of Holes when it finally starts raining and it's the craziest moment in the movie. Imagine you and this dude just holding your swords together. <laughs> oh, you, you, you good? You good, bro? Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm good. Yeah, it's got rain. You like you like water? I like water. We're like, oh, we can finally hear you. Okay, we'll stop fighting. You see the rain? Everyone's like, oh shit, Vivi. Talk about a suspended <laughs> delay. Like that dude was in air for that long. Bro, like with the music, especially this episode, I, like I legit, legit feel like I'm at like a an orchestra concert. Look at the music. Feels like I'm at like an opera. I got the spotlight shining down on this, the end of this great tragedy, whatever you call one of those stories, a drama. That dude is a fucking icon. He saved a country. This genuinely feels like different One Piece because of how high the stakes are, were, and how much we did. Like, look at this. Talk about a to be continued. God damn. God damn. Okay, on to the next episode. Episode 127. Let's do it. Chaka. <laughs> Ikaram, let's go. Everyone is shocked by this. Ma, ma, ma. I know. Oh. It's gonna make me cry. Don't start crying, Vivi. Ikaram's the boy. <laughs> Chopper's like, what did I miss out on? <laughs> All right, finally knowing the truth. Skabloom, skabloom. 
I'm glad even better late than never. I'm glad this info finally is coming out. Koz is like, yeah, I come on. Everyone gather around. I will tell you the story of Alabasta. Gotta be a good sign walking out and seeing everyone dropping their weapons. <laughs> Come down if, if I walk more, I'll die to see. <laughs> I gotta start saying I got that. Cobra carried that boy Luffy out. Goats. I'm the king. <laughs> that's the thing especially from a political standpoint that's one thing that's going to make the show so great but so complicated at the same time uh they're not going to take credit for saving this country only the people involved chaka pell r.i.p uh vv igaram you know cobra only this people involved are gonna know otherwise like to the marines to the law to the wide audience to the wide people they don't know some pirates saved an entire country like that's crazy and i it's such a notorious gray area because we're technically bad people technically outlaws but we're great people you know so it's crazy we're notorious as they say infamous <laughs> They're putting on that brave face, but they've done a lot. They're exhausted. I get it. You are hereby under arrest. Strip you of your authorization as well as titles and rights bestowed upon you by the government. You, sir, are in big doo doo. Look at the Karu squad. All the rest of the Baroque Works members. I love how how many of our fights he won out there. Bon Clay. He's still up and at him. Just wait and see, Sanji. I'll get you. I mean, yeah. It's a rough situation when... Yeah, actual king this time, not Bon Clay. Yeah, exactly. We lost so much and gained nothing. I mean, gained something, but this is, yeah, you gained a step forward, you know. Shouts out King Cobra. Nefertari Cobra. The Alabasta Kingdom will survive and will thrive. <laughs> well, the rest of the squad did so much, they're all just out. A battle that will never be told. Oh, I love that. The battle that will go down in the history books and the battle that will never be told. Oh, I just talked about that. No one's ever going to know. But we did amazing things. That's what... Who is this? So, hold on. So, that's Crocodile's ship. So, she used, uh, he used the, her elite unit to help find the ship. And then, so that rain was, that I said was Destiny Natural. I know he said he didn't use the, the rain powder to, the dance powder to make it rain. I'm using, I'm assuming this ship just with the way the cannon is looking on the ship, it uses the dance powder to make the rain, and that's how Crocodile was doing all his shenanigans. Um, I need to know who she is. Don't tell me, obviously. I'm sure I'll learn. They joined the Navy at the same year. His name is the White Hunter, his nickname, Smoker. So this oh. is Crocodile's ship. And so did Smoker... You guys can tell me. I don't know. I think you guys can tell me. Did Smoker actually make it rain there, or was it actually Destiny Fate? Gotta flip a coin. Heads. I usually call heads, too. Ah. Fuck. Jeez. Yep. Chao Sao Tashigi. Becoming one of my favorite Marines and characters in the very in the last like ten. She was she was cool and I liked her before. I love this conflicted anti-hero gray 
area character Tashigi. I love her a lot. <laughs> yeah, Toto's chilling. He's the goat. See, I live in a place where it rains all the time. So I never liked rain growing up. I somewhat like it now, especially because I stay at home a lot more often. But I can only imagine how much they love it over there. Look at the Kung Fu Dugongs. Yes. If only you knew what was going on, Toto. Just three years. I mean... You were right. It did come. Patience. So this is natural rain then, right? No longer force. Oh, that boy's getting a good nap. They're all getting a good nap. <laughs> yeah, that's such a good sign for the hope and prosperity of this kingdom. <laughs> Me too. Shouts out to Pell, man. Gotta give you one last RIP. Self sacrifices, big thing, man. Like, Wait. Miss Hina. Miss Hina, is that her name? Did I get that earlier? Smoke. Right? If anyone's gonna understand, it's gonna be Smoker. Right? You don't have the choice to decide if you're weak. Losers, losers can only speak so much, you know? That man got to decide. That man had the choice. Some very good character development for her and Smoker over the last few episodes as well. That's a bar. Reminds me of Aaron. Move forward or die. Always move forward. Yeah, they're a real one. It is super frustrating being that weak. Not Yeah, I get it. You know, get stronger. Shouts out Tashigi, shouts out Smoker. I've really grown to enjoy them since we met them in Logtown. <laughs> I'm saying I wish more people were like Tashigi and Smoker. I really do. So it's not Captain Smoker anymore. What's his new rank going to be? They're, you think they're going to give, right? The Straw Hat Gang props and credit? Of course. Yeah, you really do have to go along with it, sadly. Watch it, Smoker. Smoker? That boy is different. He doesn't care. On to the last episode of the session. 128, here we go. Drum doctor? Holy sh <laughs> You got quite the reputation, Chopper. <laughs> Come on. He just doesn't like being looked at different as different. <laughs> yes. Yes. Everyone's this always reminds me of Naruto after some of the crazy incidents in the Hidden Leaf Village will get destroyed. You know, we gotta gotta have our repairing process. <laughs> we had <laughs> What? You have any proof the pirates are here? Well that that was too um no oh never I guess not. That would be the first thing he says when he wakes up. See, second thing. First thing is his hat, second thing food. <laughs> Slept for three days. <laughs> Five meals a day? Jesus. Okay, is this Igarum's wife? Terracotta son. Ikram's wife. Head of the, okay. 
He sounds way too much like Igarob. <laughs> <laughs> so when you steal it, it'll be too hot. <laughs> Shut up. I hate this kid. Uh, you did say you would choke. <laughs> Once you live with these guys for a couple of weeks, you get used to it. Okay. They're going through the emotional roller coaster I was just talking about. Once you live with these guys for a little bit, you know, you start to think they're hilarious. That's good. Especially after how, like, dark and sad this arc was. Like, it's nice to have some levity. I still need to know what happened to Robin, though. Okay. That is a crazy bath. I need to go to a hot springs in Japan so bad. <laughs> With the dragon shooting out the hot water, that is a crazy cool bath. Yeah. You saw a bunch of shit with us, Vivi. It is going to be sad when we leave you behind, because you do need to rule this kingdom with your father. Normally in the animes, they... Oh, you got to pay. Never a free show. She just made like 800 million, 800,000 berries. Damn, I wish I had 100,000 berries on me. <laughs> oh, for a king to do this is like the most humbling he could ever be, you know? Right? <laughs> there isn't such a thing as a naked king. Shouts out to the Bath King Cobra as a father and as a resident of this land. And that's so genuine too. I don't really mean to pause it. I just have been thinking about this because I've been watching like more modern shows. You know, like I've been watching Chainsaw Man, JJK, Demon Slayer. And one thing that I always love about older shows like One Piece, Naruto... Hopefully Bleach when I watch it, especially with these arcs that are, especially with One Piece where there's sagas, you know, that are so long. You, when the resolution happens and when the climax is downturn and you have these happy, like it feels so much more cathartic and so much more elation because you've been with these people. Like for me, I've been in Alabasta in a saga for a couple of months, you know, but for the people watching this, it's been almost a year. They've been watching this week by week and when it comes to these long running shows, you just feel so and like it's such more of a risk because people don't have that much of an attention span anymore these days and aren't willing to put the commitment and time in for these. But like if you are, you feel so much more attached to these characters, you know, like Vivi, who is not going to be a part of our main crew, was literally just with us for the saga. Like she's like she's literally a part of the crew, you know, and it feels so natural because she spent weeks, days, episodes, tens of episodes with us, you know, so it's crazy. That's one thing I always love about older anime. They feel like they can take their time and flesh it out, you know? I hope they can leave this island safely. How quickly they prepared. Zoro, 60 million? We got updated bounties! 100 million berries! Oh, shit. Yeah, one pillar. Oh my god, Zoro 60 mil. I gotta have the updated numbers. To the sea. Damn. Django? Django the traitor? Sergeant? Iron Fist full body? Django the hypnotist and Iron Fist full body? Because we were having a dance party. 
So Django is now a Marine with a uh, full body. I mean, full body was a Marine, but now they're a part of Hina's squad. So that's interesting. And they're riding on the Karu squad, the Squirtle squad. He's feeling sad. She's going to miss her, her friend, Vivi. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that is funny. I mean, we did have that deal coming here, but it turned into so much more than that. That is so funny. That is so Nami. Yeah. You don't know him as well as Vivi does, Igarom. They're like, whoa, 100 million? I'm way more badass. Yeah, that is interesting. Oh, Mon Clay? I'm so so funny. And there's no more Baroque works anymore. Okay, so now we have to deal. Okay. So she's she's making her life choices whether she's gonna stay or she's gonna go with them. Which it is a a hard decision, you know. Even though I would love for her to come, I think no one would be a better leader of this place than her. Yeah, Karu would follow you wherever, to the ends of Earth. Shouts out to the, to the Karu squad, the Speedy squad. <laughs> He's like, we were cool before we knew we were enemies. <laughs> you guys would leave without me. Oh, actually, a good point. <laughs> that's, that's actually not a bad plan, but that's funny. In the name of friendship. That's hilarious. That's where it ends. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Well, I still feel like we have a couple episodes wrapping up technically, like leaving especially with Miss Hina, who, can you guys answer? Have we met her before this? I don't think so, right? Like before this uh, introduction a couple episodes ago, um, but we have to get around her. She seems very formidable, very scary, very high ranking as well. She has full body and Django as under her command, interesting. But, oh my God, talk about a finale to Alabasta. I still, I think that episode uh, 126 maybe, or 127, where it was very orchestral and the violins were playing heavily and it was oh that was, that was one of my favorite episodes of one piece to date so far um i love how cobra everyone felt the banquets everyone was so appreciative thankful koza vv everything came together very well it was tied it was like i said very cathartic and it felt great that we finally were able to do something especially when it started raining and all that the fighting itself between luffy 
and crocodile him punching through that bedrock the gun the gum gum storm everything was just magnificent like i love there are so many aspects about this show where not only do i see how good it is right now and i appreciate that but i can totally see the seeds and the potential it has for being amazing later on ah talk about a finale to a saga the next one i have let's see because i have a list of just the the sagas and the arcs just so i know um what i need to do you know what's coming up what i need was in the past all this that and the other so alabasta the next saga we're starting is sky island not a clue what that means but sky island is our next saga interesting and with that being said thank you guys for watching always appreciate y'all make sure to leave a like subscribe i gotta i might get into this some sky island here soon um don't forget to check out that patreon early access whole length up to one week eight episodes ahead all that jazz appreciate y'all don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace out